out of the past. Phantoms of a world gone by speak again the immortal tale, the bell tower. Here is the ruin of the famous bell tower built by the great Bonadonna four centuries ago. It doesn't look like much, does it? A heap of rubble, shapeless, covered with earth and black moss. If I hadn't told you it was once a bell tower, the pride of all Italy, you would think it was only an ugly rubbish pile, mercifully grown over by the jungle of time. But dreams lie buried here, and memories, and the ghosts of a man and his genius are said to haunt the spot. Some even say the spirit of Bonadonna's bell still tolls high up in the silent night sky. Others scoff, a bell cannot have a ghost, even if there were such things. But what is that ghostly sound? Surely no earthly bell ever sounded like that. Can it be that Bonadonna's bell actually does toll for its long dead maker? Though this tower that supported it is now no more. Or does the shade of Bonadonna himself still linger here, thinking back to the day he was called in by the chief magistrate of the town? I'm uh, flattered, Your Honor, that the chief magistrate of so prosperous a town should have heard of the humble architect called Bonadonna. <clears throat> Your pretended modesty is not very convincing, Signor Bonadonna. <laughs> but uh, if I were responsible for the wonderful monuments you have built, I, I suppose I wouldn't be very modest either. Naturally, naturally. But there is only one Bonadonna. Perhaps you should start by imagining yourself Michelangelo and work up to imagining yourself the incomparable Bonadonna. <clears throat> Michelangelo was a very great artist. Hmm. A beginner. He would have sat at my feet. Your views are interesting, Signor Bonadonna, but it was not to discuss art that I summoned you Spare here. Spare the oratory, Your Honor. My time is valuable. <clears throat> to be sure. Briefly, Signor, our town has grown rich through trade with the Near East. And now, at last, we can afford the finest monument in all of Italy. The elders have voted to have you build the most imposing bell tower that your genius can conceive. Your town must be very rich indeed to afford my services. Never fear, the money is there. More than you have ever been paid for. And uh, if you build a bell tower that will bring admirers from all over the civilized world, you will get a bonus of twice the fee agreed upon. Hmm. That is an incentive. Can you fulfill it? I will erect a bell tower that will endure forever. Its fame will be known wherever men dwell, be it in, in palaces or caves. That, Signor Bonadonna, is precisely what we want. And I am just the man to do it. Always bustling with commerce, its harbor filled with proud sailing ships and the streets with sailors from all over the Mediterranean, the town suddenly realized what real activity was when Bonadonna brought his crew of masons and artisans. The chief magistrate and the elders came day by day to marvel as stone by stone and month after month the tower strained toward the sky. But there were some who grumbled at this amazing creation of Bonadonna's genius. I tell you, Bonadonna is mad. Ah. No matter how great an architect he is, he can't build a tower as high as this without a wider base. He wants to build it so slim and tall that people will wonder how it stands against even the gentlest breeze. Against the breeze, yes. But when the winter gales roar down from the mountains, uh, it'll uh, topple like a pencil stood on end. <laughs> Take it easy. Uh, there. More bricks for you, Enrico and Cesare. Careful how you dump those bricks, Paolo. You want the whole insane tower to come tumbling down? Oh, you two are always grumbling. One would think you were better architects than Valadonna himself. <laughs> better than he used to be? No. But Signor Bonadonna is not as sane and cautious as he once was. What? Are you hinting that he is... Crazy? A... Yes. Uh, 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 you, you think he is not a maniac, eh, Paolo? That's right. We will prove it then. We are on the top of the tower, huh? How high above the ground are we? 200 feet. And Bonadonna proposes to build it another 100 feet. 
300 and all. Yet the base is wide enough for a tower only half that height. Already you can feel it sway when the wind is strong. What will happen when the winter comes and the gales roar down from the mountains? Always you are asking that question, Enrico. And you never phrase it differently. This is no time for literary effect. Answer what I ask. Well, I, I don't know. I am no Benadon. He must have made allowances for the wind and earthquakes. <laughs> well, with a huge bell and clock on top of the tower. The weight alone <laughs> will be enough to pull the whole thing down. And when the gales roar down from the mountain... I know, will... I know. Well, I, I will admit that my wife worries when I leave for work in the morning. And why, Paolo? Well, it's silly. You know how women talk. She says if the tower stands when it is 300 feet tall, it will prove that... Banadonna is in league with... with Satan. Ah. That is a possibility, of Cesar. Of course, Enrico. I had not thought of it. That would explain why he thinks it can stand on so small a base. And the gales that will roar down from the mountains will not tumble it to the ground. Banadonna. In league with Satan. Hey! Hey, you up there, what are you doing chattering and loafing? Get to work! Sleep like a tool of the devil. The Lord will have vengeance for this blasphemous bell tower. He will smash it to the ground, and you along with it. All right, all right, you incompetent fool. The metal is molten. Swing it over to the mold. Right, 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 Into the mold. Pour. There. Everything is finished. Now all we have to do is wait for the bell to cool in its mold. And then haul it up to the top of the tower. Senor Bernadotte. What is it, Paolo? The men and I, we have been talking. My wife, too. Of course, you know what women are, but uh, it's a different with the men. I mean, we're all experienced. We've worked with you a long time. What in the name of heaven are you gabbling about? You dare to use that sacred name, you? The name of the saints? Who has a better right than the great Banadonna? Will you come to the point? Is it at the bell tower, senor? There is only one way that a tower so high can be supported by so slim a base. Yes. Which way is that? By... by a pact with the devil. Ah, uh, you fools! You're superstitious apes. I'm hundreds of years ahead of my time. I worked out mathematically every stress and strain before the first shovel dug into the soil. <laughs> I don't need Satan. My science is enough. Uh, but, senor, look at the size of the bell we are casting. When we pull it up to the top of the tower, its weight will make Stupido the whole thing... Stupido, vigliaco, maladeso! Senor Banadona, what are you going to do? You won't stop me! Senor. You're here! This tower, this tower is my dream. No, no, Sina. I'll kill you, you. Sina. No, no. There. That will teach you to meddle. Does anyone else want a taste of the same medicine? I thought not. All right. Remove the body of this poor dead fool. And then get back to work. And I'll stand for no more nonsense. Or Paolo will have company in the graveyard. Murderer, you will hang for this. The great Banadonna? Hang for the killing of a stupid pig? I don't know. There is no court that would convict the greatest architect in all Italy. Poor Paolo. How are we going to break the news to his wife? Look, with one blow of that murderous ladle, that... Devil's accomplice smashed in his skull. See how the blood is spattered everywhere. Oh, Enrico. What is it, Cesare? Look at the bell we are casting. Dio mio. A drop of Paolo's blood splashed into the molten metal. It is an evil omen. <clears throat> <clears throat> Your attention, please, worshipful elders of our fair town. We are gathered here to sit in judgment upon one Bonadona architect who has been accused of slaying one Paolo artisan. 
You have heard the testimony of the eyewitnesses. Now I will call the defendant to state his case. Signor Bonadona, what have you to say in your defense? If it please, Your Honor, would you clear the court of all spectators and witnesses for the deceased? Very well. Clear the court. Clear the court. Clear the court. Clear the court. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> now, Signor Bonadona, is it or is it not true that you killed Paolo, the artisan, with a blow of a heavy utensil known as a ladle, which is used for pouring molten metal? Uh, yes, yes, I did, Your Honor. <clears throat> then you plead guilty. Oh, no, 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 Your Honor. I would not do anything like that to harm your interests. Eh? <clears throat> uh, how, how would you pleading guilty harm my interests? The bell tower I'm building is a very costly monument, is it not? Naturally, naturally. Our town is rich and we want nothing but the best. But a half-completed tower would be the laughing stock of all Italy, isn't it so? Not to mention a waste of the money that has already been spent on it. Mm. You have a point there. Yes, I, right. I can imagine the scene a hundred years from now. Visitors from some distant land are gazing at the topless monstrosity. Oh, how sad, one of them exclaims. This could have been the most beautiful bell tower in the whole wide world. Why was it never finished? Do you not know, asks another? The architect, the maestro Banadonna, slew a meddlesome fool who got just what he deserved. But Banadonna... Bonadonna was hanged. The tower was never completed because nobody could duplicate the great architect's plans and the art of designing monuments was set back for many centuries. Oh, what a pity, the first one laments. It's enough to wrench even a tyrant's heart. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> of course, justice must be done, Signor Bonadonna. Justice has been done. Paolo would have worked his fellow idiots into a superstitious rage. And all the money, all the money you have invested in the tower would have gone for naught. Mm, yes, Signor Bonadona. Yes. We, the elders and I, have the sacred duty of handling our neighbor's money. Therefore, it is my opinion that you acted wisely and in the best interest of the town by quelling the threatened revolt. Do you agree, venerable colleague? Well, I, I, mm. Oh, yes, I, I agree. Yeah, I, I think it is. Then, Signor Bonadonna, we absolve you of all guilt in the death of one Paolo Artisan. Thank you, gentlemen. I knew you would not allow justice to be undone. And now I shall return to my work on the bell tower, which I will force to completion as speedily as possible. Adio. Faithful friends, the great Bonadonna is free. Or why is it that some of you do not look properly joyful? You are free now, you tool of Satan. But Paolo will have his revenge from the grave. And soon. That drop of blood that splashed into the molten casting of the bell when Banadona killed Paolo, everyone said was an omen from beyond. An omen that poor dead Paolo would take vengeance on Banadona for his murder. Yet, nothing seemed to happen. But the day finally arrived when the bell was to be swung up to the top of the tower. And then, at last, the workmen felt that Banadona's time on earth was drawing to an end. Oh, what a beauty. The biggest and most exquisite bell that ever was made. Oh, but wait. What is this? A floor 
at the nape of my beautiful belt. Oh, I will soon have this fold fixed. Just chip out the weak metal, scrape away the rough edges, and fill it in with this, this secret formula of mine. There. There is good as new. All right, everybody. We're ready to swing the bell into position. Grab the rope. Ready now. Pull. Easy now. Easy. That's it. That's it. Down. Down a bit. All right. All right. There you are. There. The bell is in place. Now, what have you to say, you ignorant jackanapes? You thought you could teach Bonadonna something about architecture, huh? Well, this bell tower will outlast you and your entire line of descendants. Perhaps it will outlast time itself. And now, now I start on a mechanism to strike the bell on the hours. If my tower is the wonder of Italy, my mechanical ringer will be the wonder of the world. I'm coming. I'm coming. The idea of waking up a man of my position at this time of night. Well, 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 what is it? Your pardon, Your Honor. Forgive us for waking you so late at night. Yes, sir. but it was necessary, Your Honor. It's urgent. Hey, oh, oh, you're two of the men who worked on the bell tower, aren't you? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yes. What's wrong? Has an accident befallen Signor Bonadonna? No, Your Honor, not yet. That mechanism he is perfecting to strike the hours. He's working secretly on it at the top of the tower. Everything he needs is brought to the bottom, carefully wrapped up. He opens the door and takes the packages. He permits nobody to see what he's doing. I find nothing wrong with that. There are men who would sell their souls to learn Bonadonna's secrets. Perhaps that is how he obtained those secrets. By selling his own soul. Hey, what's that? Are you bringing a formal charge of witchcraft against Signor Bonadonna? Oh, no, Your Honor. Quiet, Cesare. I... No, Your Honor. We have told you that everything is brought to the bottom of the tower for Signor Bonadonna. That was a mistake. There was one thing he went out and got himself. Yes, yes, yes. It was an object the size and shape of a man, wrapped round and round with a white cloth. If one were to dig up poor dead Paolo from his grave, Your Honor and carry him furtively to the tower late at night, still clad in his shroud. That is the sort of parcel one would carry, the sort we just saw Signor Bonadonna carrying. Hmm. 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 A corpse, an automatic ringing mechanism, and utter secrecy. There is a sinister logic about the combination. There's only one way to be certain. Yes, Your Honor. That is why we brought these shovels along with us. Careful, Chester. Hurry, Enrico! Chester! Yes, Your Honor. Yes. This confounded night air was always hard on my arthritis. And here in this deserted graveyard, it seems still worse. Uh, we're almost out of the coffin, Your Honor. Good. 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 Ah, I've struck you. Good, good. Now make haste. Come, spit away. Yeah. All right, Chester. The top of the coffin is cleared. Now give me a hand in opening it. Right. Easy. Yeah. Uh, there. Uh, 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 but, but Paolo's body is still there. Oh, Paolo is still here, Your Honor. But Signor Bonadonna could be using another dead body for his automatic mechanism. Hmm. Hmm. You are right, sir. I will speak to Signor Bonadonna the very first thing in the morning. I heard something very disturbing yesterday. Uh, you, Signor Bonadonna, are reputed to be making your secret ringing mechanism out of, uh, out of a, um... Yes? Out of a corpse. I see. One brought back to life, of course, enslaved by my, uh, my wizardry to strike the hours forevermore, huh? Naturally, you have a certain measure of proof, Your Honor. Oh, yes, yes. You were seen carrying what appeared to be a body wrapped in a shroud. It was late at night, and you were hurrying toward the tower as if wishing not to be observed. It is my inflexible practice never to display my inventions until they can safely be shown. That time will come when the tower is thrown open to the public. Well, uh, <clears throat> when will that be, senor? 
<laughs> Tomorrow at noon, Your Honor. And you will see that you and your precious townspeople are the worst pack of meddling fools that ever handicapped a genius. Now, if you will excuse me, I shall return to my work. What a strange man. I was so sure of myself. Well, we will know tomorrow if the rumors are true. I can't understand what is delaying Belladonna. The bell was to ring at the stroke of noon. It is noon now, Your Honor. I know, Cesare. That's what puzzles me. Signor Bonadonna is usually a man of his word. Maybe he found it necessary to make some very sudden changes, Your Honor. That... Hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, that could very well be. Well, we shall soon find out. I'll hail him. Signor Bonadonna! Oh, uh, Signor Bonadonna! He doesn't answer. Naturally. He is probably much too busy. Well, we won't give him any more time to destroy the evidence. <laughs> if we can prove a sorcery charge, we won't have to pay him a button. Open the door. It's locked. Then break it down. <laughs> All right, men, follow me. Climb. 300 feet straight up into the air. Your Honor, come here. What, what is it, Enrico? There, Your Honor, against the bell. It's Signor Bonadonna. Dead. With his head bashed in just like poor Paolo. Serves him right if someone murdered him. But this was not murder, gentlemen. See? He was working on the bell with mallet and chisel. Evidently, he had not turned off the clockwork. And, and, and the heavy hammer of the automatic bell ringer swung round with tremendous power and crushed his head against the bell. Then the bell ringer is what we thought it was. No, Cesare. It is no reanimated corpse. Then what? It is an amazingly intricate bit of machinery, more ingeniously wrought than any I have ever seen. And so, Signor Bonadona was not a tool of the devil. He was a genius, the greatest genius of our time. Then, then by whose vengeance did he die? Perhaps we will never know. From the dust he came, and to the dust he returns. Peace to your ashes, Bonadonna. The world of men is poorer for your passing. <clears throat> Has Enrico reached the top of the tower yet, Cesare? Yes, Your Honor. Then give him the signal. All right, Enrico! What's wrong? The bell is gone! Look out, look out! The whole tower is collapsing! Oh, oh, oh. Landed directly on Bonadonna's coffin. And drove him so far into the ground, we won't have the expense of the funeral after all. But is it... Yes, Your Honor, just as we thought. Well, well, what are you jabbering about? The bell, Your Honor. There was a flaw in it where poor Paolo's blood splashed into the molten metal as it was being cast. Signor Bonadonna thought he repaired the flaw. But he hadn't. Hey, hey. Then what has that got to do with this calamity? It was right there, Your Honor, that Bannadonna's famous bell cracked. And Paolo has taken his vengeance from the grave. From the time-worn pages of the past, we have brought you the Bell Tower. Bellkeeper, pull the bell.